Well, good morning. This is Alicia and Kelly, and we're speaking with Catherine Brooking, a registered dietitian from New York, who is here to talk to us about women and children's need for calcium and the new product enhancements made by Yopla Yogurt. Catherine, Good welcome. morning. Thank you for having me. Do you want to tell us a little bit about your background? Sure thing. I am a registered dietitian. As you said, my name is Catherine Brooking. And I specialize in communicating the latest nutrition information to the public. So as part of that, um, I write for national magazines, um, anything from Cooking Light to Prevention to Self Magazine on a whole range of nutrition topics. Um, I also speak to the media all the time. So I do a lot of uh, media, broadcast media here in the New York area but also occasionally on a national level as well. And um, I absolutely love what I do. I talk to people about how they can improve their uh, nutritional status, but most importantly, I try to hit home the message that healthy eating really does taste great. In fact, a lot of times it tastes even better than a lot of the junk that's out there. So um, it's just a wonderful profession. And today I'm really here speaking on behalf of YoPlay, um, I'm actually thrilled to be partnering with them because they are also very committed to healthy um, Americans and good nutrition, and they've recently reformulated their YoPlay original so that it now has 50% of both calcium and vitamin D um, in every cup, and those are nutrients that are really critical to both children as well as women. Cool. Wonderful. Um, to go play to alter the product to insert the calcium and vitamin D? Mm -hmm. Well, I can't speak to that in great detail. I know that as um, a dietitian who's worked with them for several years now, that they are really committed to um, increasing the nutritional value of their products. Um, I can also tell you that the recommendations are not always being met by um, Americans, especially women, for their calcium and vitamin D needs. So. I think that the move for the reformulation was in part based on the fact that they know that people need more of these nutrients and that this is a great way to get both calcium and vitamin D, which work together, um, into a very convenient, great tasting product. Why is calcium particularly important for women and children? What body functions is calcium important to? Well, it plays multiple roles in the body. Um, calcium is important for um, heart health, but basically what we're really working on here is building and maintaining healthy bones. So calcium, again, in conjunction with vitamin D, works to build strong healthy bones because if you're not getting that calcium through food, what happens is that um, the body will take it from your store of um, that's held within the bones. So you always want to be making sure you're meeting those recommendations so that you're building a strong base through your childhood and teen years that you then can reach a peak bone mass which happens for women in about the early 30s range um, and then after that you want to continue your calcium intake so that you're maintaining that peak bone mass throughout the rest of your life because bone mass begins to decline somewhere around age 35. So how much calcium do moms and kids need in a day? Sure. I'm actually going to read to you um, from the latest dietary um, reference intakes from the IOM report because they are moving around a little bit. So for children, for example, we can go starting as early as ages 1 to 3. And again, for anyone really interested in all the details, um, the Institute of Medicine, the IOM.edu, will have all this information. But I'll kind of go through a quick synopsis. So for ages um, 1 to 3, the average estimated requirement is 500 milligrams. Then for kids getting a little bit older, in the 4 to 8-year-old range, we're looking at 800 milligrams. And these are all per day, on a per day basis. Um, for teenagers, ages 9 to 18, we're looking at 1,100 milligrams a day, so really quite a significant boost. And then as we become adults, the, the needs decrease slightly. So for women ages 9 to 50, it's 800 milligrams per day. And then interestingly, they increase again really shortly after menopause because this is when, again, we start losing that peak bone mass and you want to make sure you're compensating for that by having more calcium. So that's a thousand milligrams a day. Um, 
For women who are pregnant and lactating, the ranges can go over a thousand. Um, so we're talking about 1100 to 1300, depending on the situation. And then for vitamin D, the general range for adult women as well as children is 400 to 600 IUs per day. Um, so again, the wonderful thing is that these two critical nutrients that are so important to bone health um, are at the 50% target level. So 50% of your daily requirements of both calcium and vitamin D are in one cup of Yoplait play yogurt. So that's why I'm just so proud to be a part of this current campaign because it really helps to spread the awareness and the importance of calcium in our diets. Can you just that relation for us, maybe? If 50% of our calcium and vitamin D are in one cup of yogurt, how many glasses of milk would you need to, to, to sure. meet that? Um, the recommendations for dairy, the dairy category in general are three servings of dairy. So that mm -hmm. could be a cup of an eight ounce glass of milk, um, a cup of yogurt. I believe it's um, one, and one, one and a half ounces of cheese, um, but cheese, the calcium levels vary depending on the type of cheese and the brand. Um, your typical cup of yogurt, I believe, has 200 milligrams of calcium. However, I say that with a caveat because some of them are now being um, fortified in, a, in, in higher levels. Um, but for sure, the, the great thing about Yoplait, it is the only leading brand that is fortifying at the 50% level for both calcium and vitamin D. And are you finding that these are some of the nutri nutrients that many women and children are lacking in their diet, or yeah. at least lacking in part? Yeah, in part. In terms of meeting the uh, 100%? Yeah, the, there was an IOM report that was released recently, and um, calcium is a nutrient that has been identified. Um, there are several nutrients that have been identified, calcium being one of them. Um, vitamin D has also been pointed out as a, a, a nutrient that people get through both food and supplements, but it's also important. So vitamin D is a bit of a controversial area right now because the experts are all over the board about how much we really need. Um, but from the literature I've read personally, um, I think that the IOM report kind of came in on the low side. So we'll, we'll, it's interesting to see how this will all play out. And what are some fun ways that moms can introduce more healthy foods into their kids' diets? Oh my gosh, fun ways. Well, there's so many. I mean, it starts at such a young age. I think whenever we talk about sort of um, in implementing healthy habits with kids, it really starts in the home and it really starts with examples. And I speak to so many parents. I do a lot of lecturing and I can't even tell you how many moms I have coming to me saying, well, I cook this for my husband, I cook this for my youngest son, I cook this for my older son, and I eat, you know, whatever I can in between. And I think that, um, I know it's hard. I mean, I, I know that, uh, you know, sometimes having a peaceful meal requires a lot of patience. But I think it's really the job of parents to bring healthy foods into their home and consume them themselves. And so make healthy eating and eating in a relaxed and social environment part of everyday life so that the parent's job is to provide these healthy foods in front of the kids and to be eating them as a family. And it's up to the kids to decide um, which of these healthy foods and how much they want because kids actually do a fairly good job of self-regulating their food intake according to a lot of, a lot of the studies that have been done. So, um, you know, making it just making family meals fun, having, you know, shopping together, eating together as a family, and again, being that role model for kids is absolutely essential because if you're telling your kids, you know, you can't have junk food, you can't have sodas, you can't have X, Y, Z, but you're doing that yourself, um, obviously it sends a very mixed message. So, um, but also, you know, getting them involved in cooking. I've even, you know, I've done programs with kids and even at a very young age, you can get them involved in family meals by, you know, having them pick the tops off of strawberries, even when they're toddlers and, you know, three, four years old. Um, and then when they're older, you know, having them help out with, you know, just things around the kitchen so they get accustomed to seeing healthy foods, preparing them in a way that's um, very tasty and makes it really fun. Um, Catherine, my kids love yogurt. They love Yoplait in particular. The blueberry pie is their favorite. Oh, that's um, great. And we eat it every day in our house. 
it, can you eat too much? Can you get too much calcium? I mean, other than for the general, you know, too many calories. Yeah, day, but. that's a great question. Um, we rarely see calcium toxicity um, in individuals. To hit the upper limits, you really have to be talking doses well over two to three thousand um, milligrams per day. So, and even that would not be considered a toxic level. So, um, you know, I it's hard to envision a situation where someone would be overdosing, so to speak, on calcium intake. Um, having said that, you know, you want to be careful. There, there have been instances, certainly in adults, of um, excess calcium leading to. Um, kidney stones and calcium deposits but generally speaking this is with really really high intakes that you know if you're if you're having your three servings a day of low-fat dairy um, you don't need to worry unless you have a specific medical condition which you should obviously speak to your doctor but it would take many many servings to get to a point where you'd see toxic levels of either calcium or vitamin D. Catherine, can you tell us about uh, you'll play one in a million cup giveaway. Yeah, this is actually again. I'm so excited to be partnering with Yo Play because not only are we spreading the word about calcium and um, vitamin D and their importance in bone health, but they're also giving away a million cups of yogurt for free. And um, you can find out all the details about that if you go to Yo Play's Facebook page, and um, you just click there and you find um, you can get your coupon for a free cup of yogurt. So um, get it while, they're, while they last. <laughs> I'm sure they're going to go very quickly. And we saw it on your blog as well. So um, yes. we, you had some really interesting information on your blog, so I hope you don't mind if we direct our, um, direct our, our yeah. viewers and readers to your blog as well. I would love that. Yep. We, uh, we have lots of fun things going on our blog as well. And, uh, you know, it's always great to be able to communicate uh, information to the public because... I know there's such a need for sound nutrition information, and it's really fun to be a part of it. Great, great. Thank you so much. Thank you very much, Catherine. This was, I think this will be really interesting to our viewers and readers. I hope Thank so. Thank you very much. Thank you. Anytime.